This episode was made possible through the continuing support of the wonderful Josh Manalo. Thank you, sir. Hey there, guys. Welcome back to the plant. We're at site three once again, and I wanted to take you through this and break it down for you. So for those of you who commented in, some of you got it right. So down below me is the big generator. Now this generates, uh, assuming our big, our big shaft here is turning at about 200 RPM, this big generator M generates uh, about 2,400 volts, three phase, at up to half a million watts, which is pretty cool. But the way that works is by moving a big electromagnet through a big electromagnetic field. All right, and we, well, moving a winding through a big electromagnetic field. Now that big electromagnetic field down below me is created by the exciter. So there's, there's two different things happening down in here, and we're gonna use this up here to explain it, okay? This is very similar to how the one down below works. So I'm gonna break it down for you, okay? What we do is we take and we have windings which are electromagnets. It's, it's, think of it like a transformer. That's one core and coil. And we have that winding generating an electromagnetic field, all right? And then inside that electromagnetic field, we move pieces, other windings, okay? Pieces of copper and iron. And these are other separate windings. So when you move a mag, or when you move a wire, a coil, inside an electromagnetic field, you induce a current in that coil, okay? You, you, you turn mechanical energy into electrical energy. It's a generator. Now we do that down below here, cool. But the first part to making electricity in this style, because we don't have permanent magnets on the outside, we're doing this with electromagnets, is you have to put electricity into that electromagnet to generate the magnetic field. We call these the field windings. So you can't make electricity unless you start with electricity. In this instance, that isn't true everywhere. With uh, a lot of things, you start with a permanent magnet. But for big generators, you have to have a field winding. So we need a little bit of electricity to make big electricity. So that is what this section up here does. This whole unit on top is a small generator that makes direct current. And that was your big clue right there. 